Um, I have to tell you that this time in life uh, is a very, very Mamma Mia Ola interesting. Interesting things are happening in life. And if you don't see that it is clearly a warfare, a battle between good and evil, like it's so apparent now that you will have to be blind, crippled, and crazy not to see it. Very interesting time. I've never seen it in my entire life so apparent. And it all is happening because for the last 70 years, and maybe longer, but that's how long I've been aware of it, they have been the children of the lie. And the children of the lie are the liberal media, the Democratic Party, the right or Republicans, the black race hustlers, the uh, um, never Trumpers the people against good, the radical homosexuals, the radical blacks, and now the radical Hispanics. Um, it's so interesting, folks. Over the last 70 years, they have worked day and night to destroy the order of God so that evil can come in. Number one, they took the fathers out of the homes, started with black people first. And the reason they started with black people, because at the time, black people were leading the way in morality, getting married, really not complaining, but by land and educating themselves and doing what they needed to do. So they had to destroy them first. They needed to use the blacks because of this phony idea of racism and slavery and as, a, as an excuse, right? And the so-called Civil Rights uh, Act and uh, movement and crazy stuff like that. And so they destroyed the blacks and just been using them ever since. And then they took God, any mention of God out of the public square, out of the schools, out of the uh, out of government, out of uh, just the public square, because if you have God in in uh, first in your life or in control, then evil cannot come in. And then they replaced uh, God with radical homosexuals, with radical women, with. Uh, this black women, radical black women, if you notice, black women, radical black women speak for black men now. It's a horrible thing, and they have the wrong ideas, and they're blind in what they're doing, but they're using these women. And, men, and black men are just quiet about it. And then, so white people were hanging in there for a while. But then after they really got blacks under control, they wanted to really, they needed support of black people to support evil. And so they said, okay, let's start bringing in all the bad things now. We got the blacks. And the first thing they started was so-called women liberation movement, some kind of crazy thing like that, the National Organization of Women Who Hate Men. And when decent people fought against that, men and women, they said, well, no, you can't do that. This is civil rights. You treated us in the same way you treated the blacks. You can't do that. We have a right. And, the, and when they mentioned the black people, the blacks like, yeah, that's right. Come on, uh, National Women, National Organization of Women Who Hate Men. We'll join forces to help tear down good even more so. And so the women were happy about that. And then they decided, you know what? We need abortion. Women should be able to have abortion. And uh, good Christians, men and women said, no, it's, uh, it's wrong to kill children inside the woman's womb. No, that's civil rights movement. We need to be able to kill the children. No, our body, our choice. 
you're discriminating just like you did the blacks. And then the blacks say, oh, they like us. Okay, come on. We'll help destroy the children, too. And then they decided that, um, well, you know what? The homosexuals said, oh, they want to come out of the closet. They couldn't breathe. Hands up. They wanted to come out of the closet. And the Christians said, no, homosexuality is wrong. Overcome it. But you can't. It's not going to accept it as right. And then the radical homosexuals said, no, this is not fair. You can't do a civil rights. Homosexuality is a civil right. And you're treating us like slaves, like you did the blacks. At first, that didn't work for the blacks. The blacks like, no, nah, we, we, we went along with the abortion thing, but not, we can't do the homosexual thing. So it took a while before they could convince the blacks and finally got the blacks to agree with the homosexual thing. And then they came along and they said, well, you know, um, homosexuals need to be married. They need to have babies and so all that kind of crap, right? And, and the blacks joined forces because they, uh, they finally convinced the blacks that homosexuality is not wrong, even though we know it is. But they needed the blacks. And then they decided, you know what? The uh, Christians are in the way. They're just making this too hard for us. Let's destroy the Christian. Let's get homosexual, homosexual churches and let's put the women in the churches and all that kind of stuff. And then the, the, the Christian men and women are like, no, that's not God's order. And, and they say, oh, no, you can't discriminate. It's slavery. We have a right. We have civil rights. And women are equal to men. And the black woman is equal to the black man and all men. So you have a right to be a preacher, to be in the church. And then they said, oh, okay. Destroying everything along the way like a tornado. <laughs> and then they decide, you know what? The white man is in the way. He's the only thing that's holding this up now. Because we need the illegal aliens. We need all this, right? And the white man is in the way. I know. Let's call the white man white supremacist and racist and all that. And then the white man said, no, we're not racist. We're not white supremacist. We just love God, love what's right, love our country. If it wasn't for white people, there would be no country, right? And they're like, white racist, white supremacy. You treated us like you treated the blacks. And the blacks are like, oh, yeah, they love us. Let's go help destroy the white man. And so they're doing that, right? And then the Democrats start losing because some people start to wake up. Then they said, well, let's get the illegal aliens here. We need votes because the folks are finding out that uh, the Democratic Party is evil and we're losing. So we got to let the illegals in and give them free stuff. And they'll vote for us. Open borders. And so they have open borders. But that one, that one, the one group is still in the way a little bit, the white man. Then they said, oh, I know, let's bring the fallen Messiah. Let's bring a black president, Obama, in. He'll help to destroy. Obama is the first feminist president. He's girly. He'll help us. He hates the Christians. He hates America. And they brought him in. And he nearly destroyed the country. And now and God blessed us. Thank you, God. He blessed us and gave us the great white hope. President Donald Trump, make America great again. And the president is working night and day to do that, right? And they have tried. Now, by the way, 60 million babies have been killed, over 60 million in the woman's womb. Um... There are now illegal aliens coming in from five different countries. 
We don't know who they are. They're bringing in diseases and guns and drugs, and they're setting up camp down in Alabama, training young people how to go in and shoot up schools and all kinds of things. Christianity is under attack, the most hated religion on this side of heaven, because of it's the best religion. And uh, so the great white hope is the only one that is keeping it together as best as he can. And they are trying desperately, and they have tried since he announced that he was running the first time around. They are trying to get rid of him because he's a straight, white, conservative Christian man with power, and that's their enemy. And white men are not allowed in the Democratic Party anymore. Joe Biden doesn't have a chance, believe me. All this hype about Joe Biden and that he's beating out Trump, don't believe that. They said the same thing with crooked line Hillary ran against the president. Remember, the polls were showing how ahead she was of the president. We see how that turned out. And now they're trying to use uh, Joe Biden to lie and deceive the people. Hopefully that will put fear in you and make you really support the president. It would backfire on them. But so they tried to get the president. They uh, accused him of collusion with Russia. They brought the, uh, the whores out of hell, and they tried to say, oh, he touched me. He tried to have sex with me. He had sex with my mama. That didn't work. The Russian collusion didn't work. I mean, and time after time after time after time again, when the president would say something, they tried, oh, this is it. He's out of there. None of those things have worked. And they are like Trump syndrome. I mean, just going crazy. And I heard this woman on the uh, View, that old woman, that old white woman, uh, Joy Behar, I think her name is, talking about the president trying to stop women, us women from having babies or take, or put us back in the kitchen pregnant and barefoot or something like that, bare feet. Isn't she too old to have a baby? Nobody want her in the kitchen or even in the house. And definitely don't want Joy Behar in the bed. She's a nasty old woman. So they're trying to get the abortion thing going. Because they were on the run with that. Nice month, you can let the baby die on the medical table during the Boston abortion. That's how serious they are about killing children. These are evil people, folks. So they have not been able to get the great white hope. And, and guess what they're trying now? They're still trying. And, and these people never apologize when it's been revealed that they are wrong. They don't say, oh, you know, I'm sorry. We made a mistake. We were wrong. The president, no collusion. The president, he didn't do this or that. He's making America great. No apology. They just look for something else. And if you look at the Democratic representatives, they're all evil and nasty and just liars and thieves of the soul of human beings. So now they want to go after his tax, his um, financial records, right? Why didn't they go after Obama uh, when that happened, when he was in there? He had scant real scandals and lying, crooked Hillary. Why are they so concerned? They want to take down America. Obama and Hillary was in support of that. According to the Washington Post, a judge ruled against Trump and fight over president's uh, financial records. Here's the first soundbite on that. This is the search for Donald Trump's tax return. You don't have them? Oh, okay. Okay, James is getting them now. Uh, our producer is late today, so we kind of... App living! So we'll get to those soundbites in a minute. Interesting stuff. Do you see what's happening, folks? You got Muslim in the, uh, you got Muslim in Congress now, in government all over, starting to spread around the country. You have 
a homosexual, radical homosexual, running for president. And no one seemed to care. No rebuking him. And he even fought his so-called husband. With no shame, kissing in the public. And people applaud like it's real. They call a man husband like it's real. It's shocking. And that's what they want to do. And I'm being told that they, uh, they uh, voted in a black radical lesbian homosexual for mayor of Chicago. And I have those soundbites coming up for you, too. Supposedly she kissed her so-called wife. So now they call it, they outwardly call in two men, husbands, and two women, wives, and the straight people are calling their relationship partners. The radical homosexuals started out calling their phony relationships partners, and they convinced the straight people, don't say girlfriend, boyfriend, or fiance, or husband, wife. Say partner. And so the straight people, as weak as they can be, said, okay. Now they call partners while the homosexual has taken over the term husbands and wives. It, it's it, it's mind-blowing. It's just hard to believe. I never would have thought that I would live to see what's happening in my country now. Good has been called evil, and evil has been called good. Woe unto the man or the woman, who, woe unto you folks who call good evil or evil good. Woe unto you.